Dantix here. So the influx of Borderlands 3 news has been overwhelming, in a good way of course. We've had three trailers and now a ton of new information dropping from the developers. Borderlands 3 will be hitting the shelves and the Epic Store on the 13th of September, or as hundreds of you have been saying in the comments, April 2020. Yes guys, I've heard all the Epic Store comments. I would pay more for it to be on Steam too, but let's move on. Also, I get it guys, there's female psychos. I know I missed talking about that and I thought it was actually pretty cool. But in this video, I'll be running through exactly what the golden weapon upgrade gives you, VIP rewards, more details on the gun with legs, tons of details on what different weapon manufacturer gun perks are, co-op features and more. Before we start, I'm giving away a console of your choice. All you have to do to enter is follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. If you want to chat to like-minded individuals and talk games and Borderlands 3, be sure to join my Discord, 17,000 members and counting. So I want to start with this. If you're interested in getting Borderlands 3 at all, there's a VIP section of the Borderlands website that will dole out rewards come release day. Rewards like early adopter packs with a Children of the Vault weapon, which is something I'll explain a little later on. Also, you get an Echo Device skin and five golden keys. You can then undertake activities like watching the trailers to get more points, which will grant you more loot come release. I have a link to this page in the description below, and if you follow it, it'll actually help me get points, so I'd really appreciate it. We know with the past titles that the devs love handing out in-game rewards even well beyond the release date of the game. They're still giving out rewards now for Borderlands 1 and 2 in the form of shift codes, which for those who don't know, give you a golden key to unlock a chest that has a very high chance of legendary loot, so keep your eyes peeled. Speaking of golden, many of you would have noticed that by pre-ordering, you get access to a golden weapon skin pack. But what does that actually mean? Well, this pack will turn any weapon into a solid gold version of itself. So if you really want to bling it up or look extra gaudy, well, you best pre-order. You also get a gold trinket you can put on your favorite gun to make it look even more bling. This can only be on one gun, but all of your guns can be made gold. Look, typically I don't encourage pre-ordering, but if you know for sure you'll play this game regardless of the scores it will get, then go right ahead, I won't judge. Really, I don't have a horse in the pre-order race because of my job. I either get copies of the game sent to me or I have to pre-order them anyway just to show you what you get. So, do you guys remember the gun named Bane in Borderlands 2? The one that would scream reloading and yell while you fire it. Well, that funny but ultimately annoying gun was the start of something great. Well, I'm sure you've all seen the now meme gun with legs from the second Borderlands trailer. Mix them both together and this is what we're getting. We're getting a gun that you send out to chase your enemies and it also slings insults at them as it runs towards them firing. This is going to be absolutely hilarious. Borderlands has really doubled down on the weird and interesting gun types progressively more and more with each iteration and no doubt creative directors were sitting in a boardroom brainstorming ideas and thought, what the heck, let's put that in. So I'm expecting more weird and interesting things like this. According to Games Radar, there's also a gun that can shoot volcanoes. Not sure if this means that it will summon a volcano-like effect where the projectile lands, spewing lava from the ground, or if it actually shoots mountains of rock and lava at the enemies, but either way this sounds interesting. Another can shoot self-propelling bullet shields, and I'm not even sure how that would work. So is it a gun that shoots riot shields or something? So it's a defensive and offensive weapon? If that's the case, it sounds great. Now, in the Borderlands series, gun manufacturers had weapons of different varieties. Some manufacturers made them cheaper, some had interesting effects like getting more accurate as you fire. In Borderlands 3, they doubled down on this. Let's take a look at the flavor text for each manufacturer in Borderlands 3. So, according to PC Games N, the Jacob type weapons deliver devastating critical hits to enemies, soft and sensitives, then Joy puke as your bullets ricochet towards other targets. So, good against flesh, bad against shields, and bouncing bullets. I like the sound of getting multiple kills with a single Jacob sniper shot. These are your traditional looking guns with bullets, slugs, magazines, and rarely any standard elemental effects. Next is Atlas, which says, Step 1. Hit your enemies with tracker tags. Step 2. Unleash a hail of smart bullets that track towards your target. Step 3. Loot. So this is your aim hack weapon. Fast, fire rate, and hard to miss. I like the idea of tagging a target, getting behind cover, and firing to the side, and watching your bullets curve to hit your unsuspecting victim. Could be especially good against bosses and mobs who you can't face out in open combat for long. Next is Tedior. 
toss your gun like a grenade to reload, then watch it pursue a nearby enemy as a fully loaded version digistruct in your hand. Now this might be the gun with legs that we saw prior, or at least the gun with legs that slings insults is a legendary version of this manufacturer. Either way, the assumption is that if you throw this gun out when you press reload, it follows an enemy with the clip it has left. So you lose that full clip and start with a fresh gun. This is absolutely nuts and I can't wait to see how this works in practice. This is like summon a pet on demand and it's absolutely my favorite manufacturer so far. I'm imagining more wacky versions, maybe one that explodes when it reaches an enemy. Now we have Hyperion. Aim down the sights to take cover behind your weapon mounted shield and keep your finger on the trigger for increased accuracy. Well this is your soldier weapon, no wacky gimmicks, just damage absorption and a reward for bullet storming your enemies. Sometimes you just need something reliable. Dahl is up next, toggle between alternate fire modes depending on your playstyle, your predicament and your predilection for bonus damage. Dahl will be your versatile weapons. Will some of them switch between semi-auto and auto depending on aiming down the sights like they did in Borderlands 2? What would incur the bonus damage though? Does switching give the gun a damage buff for a little bit? Some shenanigans are happening and we need to get to the bottom of this. Vladoff is next. Augment these rapid firing, ammo hungry guns with under barrel attachments including tasers, rocket tubes and additional gun barrels. It isn't clear if you can modify all guns or just Vladoff, but this adds some seriously spicy variety to a game already packed with it. Do you find these weapons with attachments or can you craft them or just add them? or can you choose to upgrade them at a vendor? It remains to be seen, but tasers will mean extra melee power, rocket tubes will turn standard rifles into something even more deadly, and additional barrels. Well, notice the plural there. It will mean you can burn through ammo even quicker, but put down an enemy so much faster. If there's a character that decreases reload speed, this might be the way to go. Torque is up next with switch between regular and sticky projectile fire modes. Stickies do more damage if a bunch of them detonate on the same target. I'm thinking Needler from Halo, with Torque sticky mode lodging in the enemy then exploding for major damage if there's a lot when they explode. I hope detonate actually does mean explosion. This sounds absolutely hilarious, especially if we see some kind of ragdoll effects from the explosion. It's good against enemies with physical shields blocking you from attacking their squishy bits, so keep that in mind. Mali One is next, toggle between two elements, charge your weapon and deal guaranteed elemental damage with your finger glued to the trigger. Now we've already heard that Mali One weapons can switch between different elemental types like fire and ice, so if you're facing something fire enhanced, switch to ice and vice versa. This seems to reflect what the heavily armored enemy in the trailer 2 and 3 could do. Elemental weapons have always been fun, so I'm excited to see what they come up with in the legendary versions. Now, the big news. There's a new gun manufacturer, the Children of the Vault or COV. Their flavor text reads, enjoy uninterrupted damage dealing courtesy of infinite ammo magazines, occasionally interrupted by unpredictable overheating. This is obviously a replacement to the Bandit brand with a new flavor. If you love the overheat mechanic where you can hold down the trigger and fire as much as you want, but if the bar reaches the end, there's a long cooldown animation. Well, if you like it, these guns might be for you. Think Mass Effect 1 or Halo Plasma weapons. However, the word unpredictable makes me think perhaps we aren't getting a heat bar and it'll be more a randomly overheating mechanic, adding some chaos to the mix. So which is your favorite sounding so far? Tell me below. So co-op is the main way many of you will be playing come release, but how does loot sharing work? Well in the originals, loot just dropped and it was first come first served. This worked for a lot of people and a lot of people prefer it like that. For example, Arix of Arix Gaming would have fought for this to be in the game. Well, it's returning. However, if you prefer your own personalized loot system, well, you can play that way too. No doubt it will be a setting option you can switch between. If you're sick of loot ninjas or randoms taking your loot, you no longer need to worry. However, if you do play with friends, the original loot option might be the way to go as typically friends choose to build differently. Some use rifles while the others use SMGs, some use explosives and so on. Doesn't matter your levels or your mission status, you can join on anyone at any time and be rewarded with loot. So a ton more info is promised on May the 1st. Until then, there's a Borderlands Game of the Year Enhanced Edition you can play right now to sate your hype. 
Well, it's a free upgrade if you own it on PC or $19.99 on PC now and $29.99 on PS4 and Xbox. Check out my review in the description below. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as I try to put as much effort as I can into them. If you did, consider leaving a like, a comment and hitting that bell button. It helps me out a ton. If you want to go the extra mile, I have a Patreon and supporters will be listed at the end credits. Thanks so much to everyone and I'll catch you all very soon with more things Borderlands 3.